Hi all, welcome to the course on Python programming for every beginner. In this lecture, we will discuss about Python installation and getting started. Let us move to the agenda. First, we will discuss about Python environments, also called as editors. Here we can develop the Python code. Python supports different environments. The first one is IDLE, Integrated Development Learning Environment. Second one, IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Third one, Online Editor. Let us see one by one the purpose of all the three editors. The first one, Integrated Development Learning Environment. Here we can develop only Python programs. Whereas, the second environment, integrated development environment. Here we can develop Python programs along with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Java, C, C++, VC++, Django, Flask, Angular, ReactJS, MySQL, SQL, etc. So we can develop Python programs along with uh, these uh, languages then some of the top integrated development environment editors so we have the first one pycharm the second one anaconda anaconda consisting of two major ids one is jupiter another one spider jupiter consisting of jupiter lab and jupiter notebook then another one is spider then the next two top editors of id are visual studio code also called as vs code then autumn next one is vim then some of the other ides are sublime text webstorm eclipse thony these are all the top integrated development environment IDs available in Python. Then coming to the third category of Python environment or editor is online editor. Without software downloading and without installation, here we can run Python programs. Examples of online editor are programage, tutorials point, then Java point, then online GDB py native trinket etc these are the some of the examples of online editors without installing any software so we can run the python program on any of these environments then coming to python ideally installation how to install python ideally in windows the official website of python is www.python.org this site is currently maintained by psf python software foundation the steps to download ideally in windows are first you have to go to python.org website in that uh, you can click on downloads menu in downloads menu you can choose the windows version of the python the current version is 3.10.0 then you can click on download after downloading so this is the python website home page after selecting the downloads tab so here you can click downloads for windows the current version is python 3.10.0 so then python.exe file will be downloaded so after downloading the python software you have to install it so how to install after clicking on the exe file the normal software installation process step by step you have to click till finish the installation so once installation is successful then what you have to do in search button you have to type ideally so then the installed python shell script with the version 3.10.0 so is available so then you can open that python ideally 
so this is the installation process of ideally in windows then coming to this is the python ideally cell home page after successful installation here you can see it is showing python 3.10.0 the current version released on october 4 2021 so here the python cell script start with the angular bracket so this will be prefixed for each and every commands wherever you are typing python code next coming to python installation in unix linux ubuntu etc operating systems for all these unix linux ubuntu operating systems by default python software is available for almost every linux or unix system the following command is used to install python directly the command is dollar sudo apt iphone get install python 3.10 whatever the version you are installing you can select then automatically the installation can be done in unix linux ubuntu etc operating systems then coming to there are some flavors of python flavors of python refer to the different types of python compilers these flavors are useful to integrate various programming languages into python some of the flavors are c python so which is combination of c plus python then uh, j python also called as jython so this is java plus python combination then next one is iron python which is combination of dot net dot net plus python the another one pi pi actually it is written in a language called r python which was created in python language the main advantage of py py is performance will be improved because just in time compiler that is jit compiler is available inside python virtual mission that is pvm these are all some of the flavors of python program now let us run our first python program how to demonstrate the first python program let us see here we will execute one simple print command in python ideally prompt to display the message welcome to the full course on python programming for every beginners this is our course title so in ideally shelf prompt there are two methods in method one what you have to do you can open ideally in that directly you can type the message what you want to display using the print command so print is a function so within function so here we are displaying one text message so the text message can be included within double quotes or we may use single code also here here you can see in the python ideally cell the command is typed print so open parenthesis then uh, double quotes welcome to the course on python programming for every beginners then close the quotation then close the parenthesis so then the execution how to execute this one simply in the debug menu run option is there or directly you can enter through your keyboard you can press the enter button then automatically the output is displayed here you can see the output is displayed this is method one so uh, how to execute the first python program in ideally this is the method one then coming to method two in method two what you have to do first we have to open python ideally as, as usual in method one then in file menu we can select new file so then one cell script editor is displayed there you have to type the python code whatever the code if you want to run then you have to save the file so every file in python that can be saved with the extension py so automatically dot py file name dot py is created whenever you can save 
so in even normal notepad also if you are typing program related to python there you can't use uh, .txt you can use .py then that program you can import in the python ideal you can run that is step two then step three so after creating a file we have to save the file name with the extension then to run the saved python program there is one menu run menu in run menu there is option run module so or shortcut uh, the command f5 is there you can click on run module or directly from the uh, keyboard you can press f5 so then the output will be displayed here you can see the following screenshot shows the output the first screenshot so in the cell script new file after typing the python com uh, commands so then in the run menu run module or f5 f5 is the shortcut through keyboard you can press so then bottom screen shows the output so the output is in the print statement whatever the message we have entered that message is displayed here so this is the way of running first python programs in direct shell prompt and another one creating a new file then using the run command run module or f5 so if more lines are there in our program contains more lines many declarations so at that time you can choose the method 2 which is convenient for single line commands you can use method 1 directly there itself you can run and see the outputs then coming to determining python version suppose after installation of python you are working suppose you want to know the version of the python so then there are some methods or steps to see the version of the python what you installed python has evolved over the years we can determine the version installed on our mission by typing the following simple python script first we have to import uh, one method called sys that is system so the command is import space sys then automatically the cursor moves to the next line with the prefix with angular brackets then you have to use the print command print sys dot version whenever you can type this print command with the sys dot version then you can enter so the following output is displayed this is the screenshot so here after typing here import sys then print sys dot version 3.10.0 this is the version you installed in your mission okay that's all about uh, our uh, current lecture what we demonstrated here how to install python in windows and uh, linux unix or ubuntu operating system then uh, how to run our first python program uh, two methods we demonstrated then uh, how to determine the python version what you installed in your computer now our next lecture on words we will start discussing the basics of python whenever we are moving ahead for python programming first we have to know the basics of python programming so next session onwards we will start the basics one by one